Hello and welcome back to another video for Final Fantasy XIV with Mimioni. This time we're looking at some new optional items. I say new optional items added to the Monk Station Cash Shop or the Final Fantasy XIV online store as I'm needing to try and remember to call it. It will always be the Monk Station to me now, regardless. Um, I say new items because these are actually last year's Heaven's Turn um, sort of New Year's celebration rewards in the cash shop. So as you can see, they posted this lodestone and then we click here to go to the actual uh, page and you'll see new items under here, uh, other things they've added. So in addition to all of the stuff we've already looked at, we have the authentic Heaven's Turn Bounty, uh, which is a housing item for £2.88. We have £1.73 for both of those helms, which are the Crimson Nezumi Kabutos and the Cobalt Nezumi Kabuto. If you want the gold one or the blue one, they are dyeable though. However, their dye palettes are slightly different. Um, if we look at the American version of that, we've got five US dollars for the Heaven's Turn bounty and three dollars for the helms. And then in euros, because everybody will always ask, three euros fifty for that housing item and two euros ten for both of those helms. What we should do now is we should log into the game and I'll show you what these look like so you have a better idea if you choose to actually purchase them. So let's get straight to that. Right then, here we are finally in the game. I had to uh, reorder one of the items so I had to wait for that to be delivered. Um, so this is what the, um, the actual housing item looks like then, the authentic Heaven's Turn bounty. Let's go in the housing menu and drop this down for you so you can have a look. Let's plop it down, plop it down, and put it there. It is, of course, a tabletop item, so we can put it on this staging here. And uh, if we go first person, have a good look at it. So it's kind of cool. It's obviously, um, you know, a rat or mouse thingy with a tangerine <laughs> on top of some hay bales. I've, I've no idea what else to, uh, you know, how else to describe this with some fans on the back. Yeah, it's... It's pretty cool, right? Is it worth the money from a Mog Station? I don't know. You're going to have to be the judge of that one. But that's what's going to cost you the equivalent of £2.88, isn't it? That housing item. So there we go. So that's the, the housing item looked at. The other thing, uh, apparently, as I'm stuck in the ground here, that's interesting. There we go. <laughs> the other thing was the two helmets. And we've got the regular, which is the crimson. Let's actually just take off the dyes off of this. Because I forgot to do that. So the crimson one looks like... Just plop that over there for a second. Like this. Which has this sort of red lining around it. Of course, it was Year of the Rat, wasn't it? So we have these sort of buck teeth on the front of the mask itself. Quite a nice one. And we've got a little mousy face or carbuncle kind of face at the front there. Quite a nice hat, actually. I have no problems with this one. Um, make some decent samurai glamours with these. Nice traditional sort of back to that helm. So that's the crimson one. And then we also had the cobalt one. Which looks like this. Which is just simply a blue version. Exactly the same. So we've got blue outline. Um, the actual silver on this is what dies, if I remember correctly. Let's just prove that. So let's go through the die window. Boop. And we'll zoom in. There we go. So look, it's... Oh no, it's actually the inlay. The blue bit that dies. Interesting. So this one stays silver. I remember. So we can have it nice. Dalamud red. That's kind of nice, actually, doesn't it? That sort of velvety ruby red underneath and on the top in the detail and then with the silver and then the other one I think does something of the opposite I think can't remember now let's have a look uh, yes see so the the cobalt one dyes the actual detail and then the crimson one dyes the actual material itself as you can see there with, uh, with the ruby red we got a ruby red sort of blood red teeth there, book teeth, and uh, the design from the gold and the black pops out even more. Which I think is probably my favourite of the palette options out of the two. I'd rather have the base material dye than the actual detail, but you might believe differently. 
But it's cool to have the two options, isn't it? And if you want to purchase those, then obviously this is what they look like. So anyway, hopefully this was helpful. I do like to do this as much as possible and to give you an in-game look as well as talking about what's on the Mog Station Cash Shop sometimes is the best option, isn't it? But yeah, thank you very much for a wonderful year. Hopefully everyone has a good 2021 and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.